Hi, I'm Ben Casey. I'm going to introduce you to Active Cluster using Fiber Channel. So what you see right now on the left is an array running a local workload. And then on the right, you see a new array that we just deployed. And what we want to do is we want to connect through synchronous replication, the array on the left, the local array to the remote array. I'll show you how simple it is to set this up. So the first thing we need to do is we have to connect these two arrays. So we'll come over to the remote array and we will get the array connection key to authenticate the local array to the remote array. So we'll just click copy here and OK. And then we'll come over to our local array and we'll get these connected. Pull the menu down, connect array. First thing we'll do is paste the connection key into the connection key field. For type of replication, we will choose sync replication. For the management address, we will put in the management address of the remote array. Okay, and finally, the, the new thing here is replication transport. Pull the menu down, choose fiber channel, and click connect. We're, we're already two thirds of the way complete. You can see that we have some information here in the array connections dialog box. So the next thing we need to do is we want to stretch this workload we see here over to the remote array. And we'll look at the remote array and you can see that there is no workload over here. So let's set that up. We'll click on the storage tab, click on pods. We'll create a new pod. A pod is the metadata framework that allows us to take data on one array and stretch it to another array. So we will call this pod one. We will click connect. So now we've created a pod on the local array. What we're going to do is we're just going to focus on that one volume that's hosting that one workload. So I will click over in the volumes window, pull the menu down, select move in. We will select the very important volume with a very important workload and we'll click move. Okay, the name changes because everything we're doing here in the GUI, you can do through command line and through the REST API. However, the array is still not stretched. That workload is not stretched over to the remote array. We'll come over here to arrays, click the plus sign, click our remote array and click add. Now you can see that the remote array has gone from a status of offline to resyncing. All right, now that we have our pod synced up between the local array and the remote array, we click on the dashboard. You can see now that we have had a transition from local rights over to mirrored rights. And if we head over to the remote array, we can see that we have mirrored rights here as well. We can also see under analysis replication, here is our resync, and then we transitioned over to mirrored rights. Active cluster over fiber channel is active cluster. The difference is twofold. One, the transport is obviously different, and you need to select a fiber channel. Secondly, because it is fiber channel, you have your standard operating procedure of zoning worldwide names together. Now, the anomaly for us here is that we've decided to simplify zoning and make it so that all worldwide names go into one zone. And there you have it. Uh, everything as it always is from pure storage, simple and straightforward. My name was Ben, and this was Active Cluster Rover Fiber Channel.